Night is always darkest before the dawn. What it is, what it do! You already know who it is, it's your boy. Back with another mod for the channel. This time I'm playing a demo, this is called Doki Doki Rising Sun. It basically um, revolves around the MC having depression. And before he succumbs to his depression, he is able to not only turn things around for himself, but turn things around for the other girls in the story. So if you guys are curious to see how this demo is going to play out, then be sure to stick around and hit that like button. Um, this is the going to be the second time I played this, so some things I'm not going to react to as much, and other things will be completely new for me. So we'll see how this goes. I like the way this mod looked when I saw it on the subreddit, so... I can't do this much longer. I thought I'd be used to it by now. I haven't slept last night. Neither night, neither the night before. It happens to me all the time, so I shouldn't be surprised. But it's getting worse and worse. That's why I'm feeling more and more tired. I can't stay too. I can't stay focused too long without needing to close my eyes. Oh. See, I mean, we, I mean, Kellen. I'm used to not having any energy, but it's never been this bad. Kellen! Fuck. He knows how I've been acting. Or not acting in this case. He's gonna ask me if I listen to what he's been saying. And they make me answer something to make sure I won't space out again. It's something every teacher has done at least once in their career. I hate being put on the spot. Hey man, nobody likes being put on the spot. <laughs> but he really leaves me no choice. Slowly I lift my head, then open my eyes. What? I spoke with an annoyed tone. I kind of fucked up here. Hopefully he won't notice. You seem like you weren't paying attention. Is everything alright? He didn't notice. I've been listening. Do not worry. Then you should be able to answer this question. See? Exactly what I said. After answering his question flawlessly, I go back to doing nothing. This is so fucking bad. I can't wait to go home. Go home and do nothing as usual. Spending my evening in bed, barely eating anything. Then trying to fall asleep. <sighs> There's only a few minutes until lunch break. Not that I'm hungry or anything. In fact, I'm almost never hungry. Also, if anyone curious why I'm sounding the way I'm sounding, is because I'm trying to match the tone that the MC is trying to portray. I could go on days without eating anything. Weird, isn't it? But it's perfectly normal to me. And the worst part is, it doesn't even bother me at all. The hunger never bothered me anyway. Well... Of course, like everyone, I need to eat in order to live. I'm not superhuman or anything like that. It's just that... I glance at the clock. It's already noon. It's high noon. Draw! Time flies when you don't do anything. Which is actually not true. Time doesn't fly when you don't do anything. <laughs> Time goes to a crawl. That's why when you're sitting in class, you're bored out of your mind. It feels like class lasts for decades. I start packing my things. Some students have already left the room. Some girls are still inside, happily chatting. Some guys are sitting in the back doing their things. And our class rep is asking something to the teacher. Time to leave the classroom. Don't want people to go and talk to me. I hate dealing with people. Killin' wait. Awful luck, as always. 
I turned around to see who's calling me. It's Orimoto, our class rep. Who looks quite adorable, I must say. You all gonna go look at her as a new custom, custom sprite for the mod. Can't tell her off, so it would only cause more problems in the future. So I guess I'll listen to her. Hey, Killen, how are you doing? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you seem a bit off this morning. Also, you look very tired. So I just wanted to know if everything was alright. As a class rep, it is my duty to make sure my fellow classmates are doing fine. So if you weren't the class rep, you wouldn't give a damn about me? I mean, I completely respect that. It's just very sad that he feels this way about himself. Why would you waste your time on something like me? Anyway, I should respond to her. Should I lie, or... Why am I even asking this? Of course you lie in that situation. I don't think saying, Oh hey, I'm thinking of offing myself soon, is the right choice. Killin? Oh yeah, my bad. I just had a couple of rough days, but it's nothing to get worried about. I don't mean to pry into your life, but you really don't look good. Are you sure there isn't something bothering you? You. You are bothering me. Piss off. Like I said, no need to be worried. Implying a very calm, leave me alone. So there is something. She didn't get it. There isn't. I just barely got any sleep. Oh. If that's the case, then you'll be good in no time. Yeah. Right. Oh shit, look at the time! I remember when I first played this, I was like, she does not look at the type of person to just say, oh shit. <laughs> like, that's, that scared me, bro. Well, I, I guess that's fine. Uh, I, I, I need to go. Bye. She storms up off the class. Not, le not letting me time to say goodbye. Uh, yeah, bye. That was quite something. It is currently 12.14 a.m. And I had a problem with this too because he says 12.14 a.m. Which doesn't make any sense because it, that means it's after midnight. In which, in which case, there should be no sunlight coming through those windows. Unless we're in the north in the summertime where the sun never sets. I wasted 15 minutes because of this. Awesome. Killing! Just leave me alone. I forgot to tell you something. <sighs> then make it quick. I'm getting hungry. I'm not. Don't worry. I won't be long. I just want to say if you ever need any help, or if you need to talk to someone, you could come to me or a teacher. We'll help you. You ran all the way back. For this? I just lost my last ounce of faith in humanity. Not that I had any to begin with. This guy's a real downer, man. <laughs> it's hard to be nice to this guy when all he's just, he's just so it's dim and sour. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I will if needed. I won't. I won't. <laughs> That's all I want to tell you. Goodbye. Bye. Once again, she walks out of the classroom as fast as humanly possible. Not wanting to get disturbed anymore, I make my way out. Hmm? In the corner of my vision, something catches my attention. A pencil case. Orimoto's pencil case? I look behind me. The teacher is still here. I'll let, I'll let him bring it back to her. Not my job. I see, I mean we, I mean all. Orimoto forgot her pencil case. That's not like her. Dylan, since you're still here, could you bring it back to her? I am this close to. Can't you do it, sir? I still didn't ask me for help. We're supposed to meet up in five minutes. Cinco minutos. I see. I'll do it then. Sorry I'm making a dullness. 
It's okay. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> After putting the thing in my bag, I make my way toward the roof. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Kellen. Adios, amigo. Hasta luego. Now we're making our making our way up top, <laughs> climbing fast, looking past, and I'm roof bound. -na 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 -na. <laughs> I take a look at my surroundings. This time, I see a bunch of students that aren't usually here, and you can hear the birds chirping. That's nice. Well, it doesn't make much of a difference. As long as they don't talk to me, it's fine. I take a seat on the left side. Here, it's hard to see me, whereas I can see almost everyone. The perfect spot for a loner like me. And this is the point where I start to realize that this guy's lo that this, for the most part, his loneliness and apathy is pretty much self in self induced. Because, like, he, because when you learn more about him, he's actually not. He's actually much better with dealing with people than he lets himself believe. He just chooses not to for his own reasons, but I think that's his depression and own sort of mental hangups bringing him down. And I could understand understand that very well while I'm not while while I don't suffer with depression, I do have a lot of mental hangups that have affected how I dealt with people in the past. I always thought I was never good with dealing with people until I actually started dealing with people and I'm like, you know, I'm not as bad at this whole dealing with people thing as I thought I was. Anyway, we'll get back to the story. I take my lunch and start eating. And by eating, I mean only taking a couple of bites. As I do this, I glance at the students that I'm not used to see seeing here. Oh. I get why there's a lot more people than usual. The school idol, Monica, is here. The perfect student that every teacher loves. The ideal girl that everyone wants to have as their girlfriend. Myself excluded, of course. I don't have the slightest interest in love. I don't care about myself, so why should I care about someone else? Which is fair! Because if you don't care about yourself, you can't exactly expect someone to care about you, right? So... That's something we all have to tell ourselves, myself included. I have to remind myself about that every day. That I need to make sure I take as good a care of myself as possible. As I'm having an existential crisis, I can hear Monica's click discussing. No way, are you serious? I know, right? Uh, he told me you'd do it during the festival. Uh, by the way, Monica, you didn't tell us what your club was making for the festival. We're still discussing it, but we're strongly considering reciting poems. You mean as in standing in front of a crowd reading a poem out loud? Uh, something along the lines of that, yeah. And you're okay with that? I mean, talking in front of dozens of people, I can't, personally. I was head of the debate club, you know. Speaking in front of several people, and it's something we did all the time. It doesn't scare me at all. Ugh. Exactly what you'd expect from her. Not that I care. Ugh. Dealing with all these high expectations is too much for me to bear. I feel like I've been sitting for a long time. I look at my phone. The screen shows me 12.51 a.m. Ten minutes left until classes resume. What a pain in the ass. Monica's group started getting up. I was about to do the same, but I'll wait a few more minutes. I don't want any unwanted, att unwanted attention from them. Please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. <sighs> There's only one left from their group. I left my head up. It's Monica. She's looking at me. Fuck! I quickly glance away. <sighs> Man. I decide to wait a bit. That way, I'll be the last one to leave. 
The last student other than me just closed the door. I can finally go down the stairs. And we're going down the stairs. This soon? How long have I been waiting for? Well, you did say you had 10 minutes left until classes start, and then you sat up there for, I presume, 10 minutes waiting for everybody else to leave, so nobody would be able to talk to you. So, doing the math, I suppose that makes sense, you know? No point in wandering. I better hurry up. There's still a while before our teacher comes in. This one usually arrives late. So I've got time to- Ah, Killen, have you seen my pencil case? Speaking of the devil. I thought I forgot it in here, but it's not there. I've been looking for you during lunch break, but I didn't find you anywhere. Here. I gave her thing back. You're such a lifesaver, thank you so much. You're welcome. Next time you're in trouble, just tell me, okay? As a way to say thank you. I mean... Sure. Even if I need to use my authority as class rep, just tell me. Alright, I'll tell you. Thank you again. I sit in my chair. I then think about what she just told me. She basically gave me a free Joker card. Could be useful in the future. That is, if I can use it. You know, before I do the whole offing myself thing. Finally, end of the day, my non-existent energy is at its lowest. I just want to rest in my bed. With that in mind, I pack my things up and make my way to the school entrance. This is the way to the school entrance, though? So, so far, there's just nothing happening. Just leave me alone! Oh, that was it. Or what? You gonna call your daddy? Hmm? As I walk by, I begin to hear voices from far away. Sounds like a fight or some shit. You're a, fa you're a fat shithead, you know you know that? At least I'm not star- I was like... I know what this is, I need to give him a- There's a certain voice I'm trying to give him, so I'm trying to get into that voice, so bear with me here. You know my friend, my bodyguard. At least I'm not starving like a dog. I take back what I said. That's not a fight. That's bullying. It's just around the corner. I should go away, but my curiosity took over. I peek at what's happening. It's a boy and a girl. It's not. It's Natsuki and M. Chad. <laughs> or Keegan. Or. I think. Charlie? Char- no, Cody, or Cody, depending on which mod you play. She's the one getting bullied. Are you done now? It's been going on for quite a while, it seems. She tries to make her way out, in vain. He's like, whoa there, little- He's like, whoa there, little girl, we're not done. I asked if you were fucking done, you deaf fuck! The entire school could have heard that. Uh-oh. He doesn't look too happy about that. He's like, You're not my friend, you're my bodyguard. You dare speak to me that way! He's clenching, he's clenching his fists. This is bad. I should get the fuck away. But... Eh? Without even realizing it, my legs have moved. No choice, then. <sighs> Hello? Ah! Who the fuck are you? Her boyfriend? Huh. That was funny. You got any more jokes like that? Oh. Oh. Want some too, eh? Actually, I was gonna give you some advice. Then let's hear it. At this point, his chest is the only thing in my field of view. He's tall and looks strong. I won't get I won't get out of this without a scratch. I mean, 
I've had my dose of bullying, so I'm kind of an expert on this. And from what I've seen, you're, you aren't doing it properly. You should. As I'm rambling on about my past experiences, I squeeze out a look toward the girl. She's still on the ground, completely terrified. I mean, who wouldn't be? A super buff guy almost punched you. Okay, stop. Hmm? You aren't possibly buying time for her to try to get, get away by spouting nonsense, am I wrong? Yes, you are. If you saw her running at top speed, you would have just understood what I would have, what I would have just did. And since you're way more athletic than I am, you would have beat me to a pulp. Why would I risk something like that? Yeah, you're right. My non-stop talking seems to have ma made him think. You know what? Even if you didn't try to buy time. I'm getting bored. Bye, Cupcake. I... Did... Did he? He left? No way, he just did that. What the fuck is wrong with him? You're not hurt? I turn around to face her. And I also like the fact that this is just cupcake in quote to end it with a question mark. I'm not. I see. She's sitting, back against the wall, lugs between her arms. Is it is that the first time it's this bad? What do you it's the first time. I see. Tension still floating. I don't want to stick around too much, so I'll just say something and leave her be. You should talk to a teacher before it gets worse. Just so you know, I didn't need help. Too proud to accept you were rescued. I see. If you say so, but you need to talk to an adult about this. It only get worse if you let him die. No! Anything but- I. I mean, uh... Don't want to worry your parents? I... Yeah, that's why. Don't want to talk about it. So you agree with whatever I say. Classic Sundere type. Alright, I'll go then. Oh? Just as I was about to leave, a girl comes, a girl comes out the stairs. She's running toward us. Natsuki! So this girl's name is Natsuki. I mean, of course, she's not called Cupcake, you silly fool. S Sayori? And this girl's name seems to be Sayori. So this was where I ended off the last time I played the demo because I had to leave and go somewhere, but now I don't, so I can actually continue to play this, so everything from here on will be new for me. What are you doing here? I heard you screaming, so I ran all the way to see if everything was okay. Oh, don't worry about that. Just some guy messing with me, but I sent him away. Acting all tough and taking all the credit. Yep, definitely a tsundere. You sure it's just that? She's not buying it. At all. Yeah, you should see you should have seen his face. It was hilarious. This Sari girl looks at me. She's not believing this Natsuki, and she's asking me for a real story. Don't see a way out. Unless <sighs> Some guy was harassing her, but I somehow managed to make him leave. He was about to hit her, so I should have carefully Oh wait, what, what do you say? He was about to hit her, so she should have been very careful. So she should be very careful from now on. And she's like, hey, you swore not to say anything about it. Actually, he didn't say, he didn't swear anything to you, Natsuki. I never made any promises. Then why did you, you know what? Go fuck yourself too. Natsuki. What now? Why did you say that? 
Because he deserved that. Really? He de Really? I deserved it? After I stopped you from getting Molly Wop by Keegan? And because I told the truth, you're going to get mad at me? Girl, you should be happy I helped you out at all with my depressed, sorry self. I could have just left. What the fuck? See, this is why you can't do nice things for people. Because people get all squirrely and just decide to just screw you over. And why did you, and why did you lie to me? I told you, you don't need to hide anything from me. That's because I Well then. Not wanting to take part in this, I sneak my way out. I look at my phone. It's 6:30 p.m. Damn, what what the heck? Where'd all the time go? What the fuck? I stayed in there that long? That's what I'm saying. Damn. Good decision. That is about... That is to make both of them ar argue between themselves. Kind of a jackass move, I know. But, not my problem. But I wanted to go home. And the way things were going, I don't think I would have gone home anytime sooner. Yeah. No use pondering over that. He's like, yeah, good decision. Leaving the both of them to argue between themselves. But hey, what am I supposed to do? I don't want to go home. I don't know these people. I don't owe them anything. I stand at the entrance for a few minutes. I'm still not used to the fact that I'm living alone. Even after two whole months. I wonder what happened to his family. I mean, living alone is not so bad. At least at the beginning, you know. But then after a while, you kind of feel stuck. Especially if you're doing the same things over and over again. And you're not being productive. Excuse me. Whenever I get home, my mind automatically sees my father on the couch watching the news, and my mother doing whatever she's doing. Not that I'm sad about them not being here anymore. It's the opposite, actually. I hate having them around. I hate their hypocrisy. I... I hate them. When they say they're going on a business trip, I felt something different than usual. Not happiness. No, it was something else. Something more like a relief. A weight off my shoulders. That's why I can't call it happiness. It's been so long since I've experienced what's known as happiness. I can't find pleasure in anything anymore. Whatever it is. Just keeping alive as if nothing is happening. I just keep living as if nothing is happening, going around in circles, waking up, going to school, coming home, sleeping, a never-ending cycle. It's always the same, always the same, always, 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 always. Ah! What the? What did I... My phone! I quickly check my phone. The screen display is 9.21 p.m. My mind just went blank for some time, it seems. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with you? That weird feeling is still here. I feel a bit dizzy. My stomach is starting to make some noise. I better go to the bathroom. Oh, it's this bathroom. I sit on the toilet. Strangely, nothing is coming out. But my stomach is still yapping. Why does it... Wait. I'm so dumb. You absolute, enormous, stupid human being. I know why it's complaining. I'm hungry. Maybe it's because... It's been two days since he had a proper meal... You dumb fuck. 
I stand up, put on my pants, and head to the kitchen. What is he going to make for himself since he's so depressed and down on himself? Once arrived, I began thinking about what to eat. I should make some pastas. It's easy to make. Yep, that will do. I pour water in, onto the pan. Then add the pastas with it. Easy peasy. All that's left to do is... Ah! My head. I'm suddenly stopped by a violent headache. What the... The fuck's happening? My vision is getting more and more blurred. Oh. I feel light. Super light. I grab the counters if not to fall. My head's getting dizzier and dizzier. My... My thoughts start to... To... I... I can't think anymore. I... It... It's getting... I... You just... Passed out! On the floor. Awesome. Cool. So what happens now? I wonder if this will turn things around for this guy, though. Huh? What? What happened? I can't... I can't remember anything. I was in the kitchen, making dinner. Then, I... I don't... Ah! My head hurts like hell. What the fuck? Did I get did I get hit or Oh. I remember now. I was making dinner. Then I got dizzy. I fell unconscious. That's the only explanation. Feeling my strength coming back, I slowly opened my eyes. I can't see. I'm not fully awake, it seems. There we go. I had to wait a while before my vision came back. Able to see again, I immediately inspect the floor. Yeah, that's it. Seeing the pan knocked over confirmed my guess. I really fell unconscious. Oh shit! I didn't notice until now that I was completely drenched. The water that was in the pan. I'm soaking wet. Achoo! <laughs> don't you dare get don't you dare get sick because of this. I run to my room. Seeing that it's completely dark, I turn on the lights. I immediately get into something dry. There. I then check the time on my alarm clock. It is 3.36 AM. Holy shit. Yeah, I won't go to school. This morning. Don't want people asking what happened. Heh. <laughs> Very funny, Killen. Thinking people will care enough to ask about what happened to you. No one will care if you are present or not. No one will care if you are absent or not. Tonight. After school. I will do it. It's the perfect time. I feel like shit. I always feel like shit. I think I could pull it off this time. I walk over to my desk. Open up, open up a drawer. To take a small knife out with my left hand. I stare at the blade for a while. In my mind, I visualize the moment. The moment that I once tried to do. I lift my right hand, put it next to my throat, and then 
With a swift motion with my right hand, I moved as if I was holding the blade. Heh. <laughs> I place the knife back at my desk. I then take my uniform to dry. There. I look in the mirror. You monster. Oh, so they use- wow, they use this sprite. I mean, I, my storm plays. I mean, I guess because it's like, well, it's the- they consider this the canonical MC sprite because of DDLC plus their life. If we were going to make a sprite for the MC, we would have made him look something like this. So... That's kind of sad though, because the- This MC is not a bad looking guy! He definitely looks like somebody who could do well with other people. But he feels so down on himself. And that- That's just just he's sad, man. Come on. I'm gonna do this- I'm Gonna do this to the boy. Well... In a sense, you're lucky. Your nightmare will end soon. <sighs> Back in the living room, I sit on the couch. Yeah. Since I won't have anything to do for a while, I decide to make myself breakfast. Might as well have a decent one, since it'll be the last. Twelve thirty-three a.m. I look like a fucking zombie. Nothing out of the ordinary. <sighs> Come on, man. Just one more day. Then it'll be over. Then you can find the peace you've been searching for. With that in mind, I leave the house for the last time. I walk to school for the last time. Oh, why are we stopping? Oh, I was like, why are we stopping here? We stayed there for quite a while. And we're staying here for quite a while. <sighs> here we go. As I walk in the classroom, I, f I watch everyone happily chatting. <laughs> I take my seat. No one seemed to notice that I'm back. Exactly as Killin expected. Hey. How are you feeling? Better than yesterday, for sure. You don't say. But I kind of overslept this morning. I thought so, given what you said yesterday. Anyway, it's good to know nothing bad happened to you. You don't say. I almost forgot. Here, notes from this morning. Thanks. Well then, see you later, Killen. Yeah. Goodbye. That was unexpected. Somebody actually cared about me. Someone actually thought enough of me to come up and talk to me to see how I was doing. But people, people would do that for me? It's just a one-time thing. Really? Is it a one-time thing? Because before, she thanked you for the pencil case. Sorry about that, I thought I heard somebody outside. As I was saying, she thanked you for the pencil case, and then she said, if you ever need anything from me, let me know. She she was always offering you help and resources, and you are just being like, nobody's there for me. So, I mean, hey man, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Hopefully it won't happen again today. There's still four more hours to go until I can go home. And do my homework. 
I'd like not to be disturbed anymore during that time. He's like, nobody cares enough about me to do anything. And then someone actually cares enough about him to do something. Well, that was just a one-time thing. Nobody will care. Nobody will do it again. In fact, I don't want anybody to do it again. You don't want people to come up and talk to you. But then you feel bad about nobody coming up to talk to you. Kind of shooting yourself in the foot there, my friend. It's time. It's finally time. I stand up. Having packed my things in advance, I'm the first one to leave. Yeah, no, no bullies this time. Instead of leaving straight away, I make a detour and head for the courtyard. I don't know why I did this. Maybe I wanted to take one last look at the school before leaving for good. Who knows? I should leave before some. Oh. Hey, you there. No, that's not. Hey, you there. One comes and starts talking to me. The guy's staying alone in the courtyard. Me? I swear to God, if it's me. Yes, yes, you. Do nothing and listen to what they have to say. I turn around and see who's calling me. It's this Sayori from yesterday. She approaches me. Finally found you. What do you want? Would you mind coming with me? It won't take long, I promise. Only if you tell me the reason why. If it's about yesterday, I'm not mad at her or anything. It's about that, actually. Thought so. She wants to apologize. Then tell her I forgive her. I'm kind of in a rush right now. But she wants to apologize in person. She even made cupcakes. That's why I called her Cupcake. I think for a bit. I really want to go home and end this once and for all. But on the other side, I don't lose anything by going with her. Moreover, I'll get a cupcake from, I guess, a pretty good cook. Since her nickname is Cupcake. <sighs> Can't say no to anything. I'll come for the cupcake. Alright, well, I think this episode has gone on long enough. Uh, of depressing Mick Depressington over here. Um, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of the. Let me know what you guys think of the mod. Let me know what you guys think of the mod so far, and give me your thoughts in the, uh, the comment section. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like the episode, be sure to hit the like button as well. It's been real. It's been fun. It's your boy, Jake Killen. Ciao for now.